Hello, my name is Michael with the Rod Hub Group, and I'm proud to announce the release of our new video training series focused on network programmability using the Network Configuration Protocol, or NetConf, with Python programming. In this short video series, I will discuss the basic concepts relevant for understanding NetConf and how it can provide network programmability. I will show you how to build a NetConf connection to a Cisco device without any scripting. From there, we will build several Python scripts to get the working configuration from a Cisco iOS device or a Cisco Nexus device. We will also build scripts to push configuration commands to a Cisco device, such as configuring an interface to adding static routes. We will also build a more practical and recommended script where we can put the configuration that we want into a text file and to push that to a Cisco device using NetConf. For example, Let's say that we want to configure a specific interface on a Cisco router, and we have a console connection to one of those routers that we'll be working with in this series. So let's see what's currently configured under the interface called Gigabit00. As you will see, nothing is configured. So let's write up what we want to configure under this interface. And that means that we first need to write up what the syntax will be in a predefined text file. And that text file is called configs.txt. So we know for Cisco iOS to configure an interface, that will be interface followed by the actual interface type like ethernet 00 that we saw before. And let's go ahead and configure an IP address, something simple to that interface with the correct subnet mask that we're using. Let's also initialize it by doing a no shutdown. And let's also put in a useful description to say that this is a WAN facing interface on this router and let's save the changes. Next, I would run our Python script, which will look at that file and push that configuration to the router using NetConf. So let's go open up a terminal window. And then here I'll go ahead and I want to run Python 3 and specify the name of the script that will look at this file and push that configuration to that router. The script itself is completed. When we go back to our Cisco router this time, let's go ahead and view that interface now. And now we see that interface has been configured with the correct description, the IP, and it has been initialized. So you will see that the new changes were applied correctly. And in this course, I will teach you how to build all of these scripts to get the configuration, like what is shown here, and how to push configuration commands step-by-step -step to provide a lightweight option for network programmability. And you can get more details on our website for this training course at routehub.net.